Welcome and thank you for viewing today's presentation, Secondhand Smoke and Your Family, presented by the American Lung Association in Iowa. In today's presentation, we will cover the different types of exposure, including secondhand smoke, thirdhand smoke, and secondhand aerosol, the health effects in both adults and youth who are exposed to secondhand smoke, steps you can take to protect you and your family from secondhand smoke, and resources available to help you quit when you are ready. Secondhand smoke is the smoke produced from burning tobacco products, such as cigarettes, cigars, hookah, and pipe tobacco. It is also the smoke that is exhaled or breathed out by the person using the tobacco product. Secondhand smoke contains over 7,000 chemicals. Several of them are toxic to our bodies, including 70 chemicals that are known to cause cancer. Non-smokers and youth who are exposed to secondhand smoke breathe in these same dangerous chemicals that the person using the tobacco product inhales. Thirdhand smoke is the residue and chemicals left on indoor surfaces even after smoking has stopped. The nearly 250 chemicals found in thirdhand smoke cling to clothes, furniture, curtains, walls, bedding, carpets, vehicles, dust, and other surfaces long after a person has stopped smoking. Exposure occurs when you touch a contaminated surface or when you breathe in the gases produced from the surface. Infants, young children, and pets are at an increased risk of exposure to third-hand smoke because they are likely to touch a contaminated surface, put a contaminated surface in their mouth, and spend more time on the floor and pulling up on furniture. Secondhand aerosol is the aerosol exhaled by an individual who is using an electronic cigarette, also known as a vape, mod, tank, or e-cig. The aerosol produced by e-cigarettes may look different than secondhand smoke, but it is far from harmless. Contrary to popular belief, these products do not just produce a harmless water vapor. Secondhand aerosol contains harmful substances such as nicotine, ultrafine particulates, flavoring chemicals, heavy metals like tin, nickel, lead, and cancer-causing agents. Many chemicals identified in e-cigarette aerosol are also known to cause respiratory distress and respiratory disease. Adults who are exposed to secondhand smoke have a 25 to 30% higher likelihood of developing heart disease, have a 20 to 30% higher likelihood of developing lung cancer, and have a 20 to 30% higher likelihood of having a stroke. Infants and young children are especially vulnerable to secondhand smoke because their bodies are still developing. Children exposed to secondhand smoke have more ear infections and may develop more fluid in their ears that require tubes to help with the drainage, have a higher likelihood of having asthma, and those who do have asthma will have more severe asthma attacks. They may experience more respiratory symptoms including coughing, sneezing, shortness of breath, wheezing, and congestion to name a few have a higher likelihood of having respiratory infections, including bronchitis and pneumonia, have smaller lungs that are still developing, which contribute to getting ill more often. Mothers who are exposed to secondhand smoke while pregnant often have lower weight babies, and infants who are exposed to secondhand smoke before and after birth have a higher likelihood of sudden infant death syndrome. There is no safe level of secondhand and thirdhand smoke exposure. Even brief exposure can be harmful to you and your family. To keep your family safe and healthy, we recommend recovering from nicotine addiction by quitting tobacco or helping a loved one quit. 
not allowing anyone to smoke or vape in or near your home, not allowing anyone to smoke or vape in your car, choosing tobacco-free housing, choosing tobacco-free childcare for your children, teaching your children to stay away from secondhand smoke exposure, and modeling behaviors and habits that you want your children to also have. When you're ready to quit tobacco, we are here to help. Quitting tobacco is one of the best things you can do for your health and the health of your family. Whether you're newly pregnant or a new mom or dad, or a mom and dad that have quite a bit of experience, Quitline Iowa can give you the help you need to quit for good. You'll receive five free telephone coaching sessions with an experienced tobacco cessation specialist, plus you may be eligible for free nicotine replacement therapy. Quitline Iowa also has a pregnancy program where you'll receive nine phone calls with a dedicated female coach who will support you and your family through your quit journey. Talk to your doctor about enrolling in Quitline Iowa or call 1-800-QUIT-NOW to talk to a health coach when you're ready to quit.